Many things we weren't ready for when Hurricane Ian hit, and all these months later, many of us still struggle. Welcome back on Lois Tomy. I'm Chris Safadi. Even when we think that we've thought of everything, there are a lot of things we can't plan for. Set to retire in about seven or eight years, but now it doesn't look like that will happen. This looks like a scene we've seen over and over again since Ian. Stripped houses ready to be rebuilt. By now, you're probably thinking, I'm setting you up to hear about an insurance problem, but not this time. The insurance company, as far as you're concerned, they responded okay? They responded great, yeah. So what's the problem? Well, to start, their first remediation company left the house soaking wet. But then you got a second remediation company. We got a second one to come in, and they did a great job. Problem solved? Ready to rebuild? No. And they started, like, trimming some of the stuff. They started finding mold. This is where math starts to become a problem as well. The money to pay two remediation companies already put their plan to rebuild in jeopardy. Then the next math problem has dried up a lot of rebuilding dreams. Everything on the news was talking about, you know, the 50-50 rule. The rule that says if you spend more than 50% of the value of your home to repair it, you have to bring it all up to current code. You know, we you know, could elevate the house or we could tear it down and rebuild. More tough math. Rebuilding would cost upwards of $300,000, too much. So they decided to elevate it. I mean, we got quotes that came up to about 178000 Now they had a plan, an expensive one, but they decided to find the money to raise their house. They tried FEMA. FEMA, of course, weren't any help because we had insurance. Then they contacted the SBA for a disaster loan last November and then waited and waited. Up until July, we finally got the loan. So we're good now, right? Time to rebuild. Again, no. The house still looked like this inside at this point, and Angela Brudos and her husband were still living in a camper out front. We don't know how long they're going to let us do that. At this point, with the loan all set, they should be ready to get that permit to elevate submitted to Cape Coral. And finally, they said that they were going to uh, reject it. So close, and I mean that literally. The issue was the garage, which wasn't big enough to meet current code. You were three to eight inches off. Yes. Three to eight inches. Should be easy to just add on, but by now I'm sure you're seeing a pattern here. That would bring us past what we were allowed to build towards the road. So at this point, that left the Brudos family in pretty much the same place they started after Ian. But Angela called and emailed everyone she could think of, including us, and didn't let up. And just when it looked like there were no other options. Since we were here last time, <laughs> a lot has changed. Oh, yes. <laughs> All of her persistence paid off. The house is being raised. And they've gone up three feet. They're going to go up two more feet to five feet. They solved the garage problem by agreeing not to raise that part of the house since it's unfinished. So I'd love to tell you it's all smooth sailing from here, but... We were still dealing with trying to get the funds from the SBA. They're giving us a lot of hassle with getting our loan. A mortgage company who's holding their insurance money and the SBA are arguing over which funds should get used first which was a new problem on the supposedly happy day that we came back to watch the progress because the company raising the house was owed $76,000 that day. No, I don't have it because the SBA is giving me a problem with getting my next distribution. So, well, we're still trying to fight it. So two updates. They got the money released with help from Congressman Byron Donald's office. And look at this. They have stairs outside now and trim around the foundation. In this case, a lot of hard work, persistence, and rattling every cage they could worked. Probably doesn't mean they have enough money to finish everything they need at this point, but they're still working on that. And after talking with the family uh, on and off for the last couple of months, I can tell you she is so persistent, she will find it. Oh, how much stress and aggravation, though, to get there. Every, literally everything they tried, no, try this, no, try this, no, oh, until wow. she figured it out. And, wow. I mean, it's just crazy. Well, best of luck. We hope it gets better in yes, the new year, for sure. Yes, and a Merry sure. Christmas. Yes.